Hey folks, let me show you how to access your Gaston County Schools Schoology account and join and create courses, okay? Um, there's a couple of ways to access Schoology using your Gaston County Schools Gmail account. One of those is simply to come up to the top of your Chrome browser and type in gaston.schoology.com. You can also, if you are logged into Chrome or on a Gaston County Schools Chromebook, see that the GCS bookmarks are there. You might use this last year to get your students to iStation or something similar. So we have pushed out a link there to Schoology. That will also be there for students once school starts. It's not there now so that they don't get in mistakenly. Either one will work just fine. You can certainly just bookmark this yourself once you've typed it in once. But once you go there, it will prompt you to log in with Google because it's looking for Google single sign-on. So you're just gonna click on your Gas County Schools Gmail account and enter in your password. And there you will be. Now we'll have training uh, both in an online module and virtually to kind of give you the navigation of all this. So I'm not gonna do that just yet. I want you to, I wanna show you how to get into that self-paced online course that we'd like all of you to complete. So the first thing you will do is you'll come over to uh, courses and then you will select my courses. And what we're doing right now is we're going to add, I'm going to show you how to add these two courses that you see that I have. You'll notice I don't have any classes in there for students. I have a getting started with Schoology, which is the training that you're going to take. And I have a test course, which is like my sandbox, which you're going to make. So you're going to do my courses. And on the right hand side, this is kind of like doing a Google Classroom. You're going to hit join a course and you're going to enter in the access code that was provided to you. Now, there's a table that you should have gotten in an email and is found on the Gas Digital Schoology page um, that will have an access code for your school or set of schools um, linked up by ITFs um, who will be able to help you with all the button pushing in Schoology as we roll that out. So you'll just join that course there. Again, kind of like you would in a Google Classroom. During that training, you'll be asked to create a course and this will be your sandbox course so that you can play and create and hit all the buttons without affecting any of the classrooms that would affect students, okay? It's a good idea to have a sandbox course. You can see that that's the first thing I did was set up a, a random test course just so I can kind of learn stuff. And you'll do that right here, create course. And your training will show you how to set up these different fields, but I would strongly encourage you to name it sandbox or something that is clearly, obviously not a course for students. You do not need to add any courses for students because those courses will be populated through PowerSchool. So please, please understand that you should not add an ELA course, a math course and the like in Schoology. Those will be pushed out by PowerSchool. You may find that you have some sections in there now, and it's going to be like it is each year, where sometimes those sections as the schedules are built will come and go, and Schoology will sync each night to Power School. So please don't start building directly in Schoology just yet. Play in the sandbox for just a little while first until you feel as though the courses in there are operational, and then um, you can use the train that you receive in the self-paced course and in virtual PD to set up those courses how you like them. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, please direct any of the button pushing questions to your ITF, um, the academic facilitators for any curriculum needs, and for any power school um, related questions and rostering and all that good stuff, those will still go to accountability. All right. Thank you so much and have a good day.